Hi, I'm Steve Smith, and welcome to Cult of Mac Sunday Tips. Apple's now give the ability to anyone with a Mac to install pre-release software onto the system, so you can get it at the same time as developers. Follow this video, and you can install and see it for yourself. So the first thing you're going to do is open up Safari and go to the appleseed.apple.com beta program. Click on enroll your Mac. It also tells you everything about it on there. So first thing that Apple will want you to do is make a backup. As obviously you are about to install beta software, so there will be some bugs in this. But that is part of the reason Apple is allowing you to install it. Rather than just relying on developers, Apple is now relying on all its users to get in touch, let them know where the bugs are so they can fix them and improve the next OS X. You can go down and install the software. So you do need OS X Mavericks, 2 gig or, 2 gig or more of memory or RAM, and 8 gig or more of available hard drive space. Once you click to download Mavericks Beta Access Utility, it will go straight to your downloads and it's as easy to install as anything else on a Mac. So open up the DMG, and then it will have this package in it, double click, which will then run the install. And this is just exactly the same as you'd run any other program install. It will warn you as well to back up your computer. So then it's got some of the legal jargon which you can read or not. So then pop your password in and click install. Now once the installation is successful, it will open up the Mac App Store and it will require a restart to install the new software. So we've now got a software update. As of the 27th of April, we've got a pre-released iTunes version. And we've also got an OS X update seed, which is obviously pre-released as well. It also gives you a little bit of a, a warning again, just to make sure that the users do know this is a beta and there can be problems, but that is part of the reason of having this. Then it will prompt you to install and restart your computer. As there may be issues with each beta of Apple releases, they're relying on users to give them the feedback. Rather than purely relying on developers as before, this is due to OS X updates now being completely free. Once installing it, I came across this new Feedback Assistant app. So basically I accept this, put in my Apple ID. It gives me the ability to give any feedback about the new beta software to Apple, which will then help them make OS X even better in the long run. It's also very simple and easy to give your feedback to Apple. Just choose an option from the drop down. So if you have a problem with Safari, you click Safari, you type in the single sentence issue and then give them a little bit more info. They do gather diagnostic information, but you can provide certain files for them as well. That's it for this week's Cult of Mac Sunday Tips. Make sure to leave a comment below and let us know what your favourite or least favourite part of updating to the beta is. Also, click subscribe to see more great videos like this, like Josh's how-to videos coming up this week. Thanks for watching.